Good morning, and welcome to this episode of BTVN, your news and information source at Barstow. I'm Joe Lennart III. And I'm Annie Grabowski. Joe, I know you're a senior and you only have to day and tomorrow left. Have you mentally checked out yet? Uh, yes and no. I still have two APs left, and I want to make sure that I finish strong with those so I can get some college credit out of the way, knocked Good. out. But yeah, it feels really weird to be coming to an end. Uh, it's been a fun ride, and I hope the juniors next year have the same fun ride that I did. Okay. But now, breaking news to the BTV and set. Two books have been placed outside Mr. Kohler's office for people to leave their final goodbyes to Mr. Crum and Mr. Adams. After the BTV and broadcast today, be sure to stop by and leave your final goodbye for these two great educators. Yes. And now, let's get to some announcements. The schedule is off today to accompany the senior video. Lunch will be shortened by five minutes and all classes after lunch will be 30 minutes each. The senior video will begin at 2.20 and end at 3.45. If you, leave before, if you have to leave before the video ends, please leave in a courteous manner so as to not disrupt those watching the video. And I can definitely say that after working hard with a certain BTV and Zone Michael O'Brien on it, the video is superb and definitely worth the watch. And now for a quick piece of BTV and trivia. How many shows has BTV and produced this year? Note that this includes today's and tomorrow's show. Send an email to btvn at barstowschool.org, and the first person with the correct answer will win a super special prize. <laughs> this Tuesday was field day for the middle and lower schools. Here's Luke Gerson with a look at all the festivities. Check it out. Man, I wish we still had field day. OMG! The final BPA meeting for parents will be this Friday at 8.15 a.m. The 2013-2014 Executive Board will be instituted, so don't miss this opportunity to take a look back on this great year and the future as well. Congratulations to Natalie Bayer and Joe Gerespi on the viola and Leah Spires on her violin, who received ones and blue ribbons for their solos at the Kansas City Metro Distri District Solo Festival. You rock! Barstow prides itself on producing some of the most well-rounded <laughs> students in the region, and middle schooler Spencer Walls is this man, is this, and he's this week's shining knight. He's great in school and even has the time to participate in sports and my personal favorite, debate. Here's Joey Penn's piece on Spencer Walls. Take a look. I've really enjoyed my eighth grade year. Um, I tried to get pretty involved in things. I did uh, sports and track for Barstow. Those are fun. And I also did um, basketball outside of school, too. And then um, I, I, get, I do a lot of math and debate. Which I, I like both of those things. And um, debate, we spend a lot of time in class. You like find evidence and stuff. Like, and you'll like, make your arguments. And then you'll go to tournaments. And um, my partner and I, we got first place in city championships recently. So yeah, I really enjoy that. Um, I'm really looking forward to high school, too because um, it looks like you have a lot of freedom, and so it, it, I think you'll be a blast. Spencer has been an amazing addition to our middle school debate class. He and Eli, his partner, uh, have been champions of the middle school debate league that we participate in. They've been city champions the last two years, and so it was, it's, it's been fantastic because he started out last year kind of a blank slate, knew he was interested, he's incredibly well spoken, and learns pretty quickly. And then that was awesome, and he was so excited and so ready to do whatever, very coachable. Uh, this year it's been a whole different situation because they were 
the reigning champions, and so there was the pressure of past success, and he's lived up to it. So I'm really excited that he will be in my debate class for next year. What do you think, besides his well-spoken, helps him most in debate? <sighs> A couple of things. First of all, he loves to win. And that really is a huge motivator. And by loving to win, then he's willing to put the work in. Debates like any other sport or activity, you get better with practice and before the event. Most of the time we spend preparing is before the event as opposed, I mean, don't get me wrong, we spend a lot of time debating and there, there's work that goes on at the tournament. But a lot of time in advance uh, goes into before you even open your mouth for the first time. And he's willing to do that work because he wants to win. Yeah, that was a really groovy piece, Joey. Annie, what are you doing? I'm grooving to the beat of this funky rhyme, you see, just like the kids in Mrs. Byrne's class in the lower school. Here's Kelsey Thorpe's own teacher feature with Mrs. Byrne. I got started at Barstow because Miss Mitchell gave me a phone call. She knew that I'd been teaching in another district and she'd heard of an early, or she knew that the early childhood position was opening and I was very interested because it was the first early childhood position I had ever taken. I love the curriculum at Barstow. It, because we get to have movement and PE every day, it provides us many minutes to practice and to really work with each child so that they can grow. We do a lot of overhand throwing and hand tossing, locomotor movements like galloping, skipping, jumping, and I have um, learned many games from all of the coaches in the PE department and I'm just really having fun with the kids and they get to learn while they're playing. And the highlight of my job is that I get to do so many things during a day. I get to teach movement to the preschool and pre-K and I get to do um, kindergarten and second grade PE with Coach Gabler. And then I also get to do early childhood music classes and kindergarten music classes. So the variety is wonderful. Show us some moves. And freeze. You guys did great. So you think about what you want to name your horse, where you want to go. Put it down and you four can go to your dock. The kids teach me a lot. They uh, teach me to lighten up many times, and they also show me that there are many different ways to solve problems. My way is not the only way, so the variety is wonderful. The final schedule has been released. History and science are on Monday. On Tuesday, we have English and math, and foreign language will be on the last final of the year and then a nice summer break. Woohoo! And finally, congratulations to the golf team of Tommy Dunn, Alec and Cody Adkins, Trip Walsworth, and John Butch for winning sectionals. The team will be headed for the state tournament next week. Tennis also won districts, a first in over 10 years. Congratulations, Knights. And now for my final thoughts. As this is perhaps my final show as a BTV and anchor and as a Barstow student, I want to say thank you to everyone who makes the, sh run, uh, the show run so smoothly every day. While I've only been a member of the BTV and crew for one semester, I can say without a doubt it was one of the best decisions I made with my second semester of my senior year. And I encourage anyone who is considering taking BTV in to do so. This is largely due to Mr. Sean Holmes. Mr. Holmes, you're a beast. In my short time with you, you've not only showed me how to create video pieces that are stunning and elegant, but how to tie up cable how to survive long nights of live streaming events, and amidst these seemingly worthless things, the true meaning of life and existence. Every time I talk with you, I learn something new. You're the man. Seventh hour, we are the beast hour. Juniors, I hope you make BTVN even better and you have the tenacity to be able to do it, and I can't wait to watch from the sidelines as a BTVN alum. For the other senior of seventh hour, Dara Parakbar, it's been a pleasure chilling with you and learning your techie ways repping the GoPro this semester. I wish you the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. 
Luke Gerson, you're the best TD around, and even though you're a Bulls fan, you're awesome. It's been a pleasure bringing BTV in home uh, to everyone this semester, and I can't wait to see the revolutions this show will have made by next year alone. Live it up for the time, it's, uh, hey, that, the time you have before it's gone for good. And for the last time, I'm signing off for good. I'm Joe Lenart III. And I'm Annie Garbowski. Take it easy, Barstow.